How's it going everybody? My name's Avid and today we are going to talk about the teleport command because we use it all over our adventure map server. So without further ado, let's blast off with this video. Yeah, you see what I did there with, you know, the bl blast off? Okay, let's just do this. Like I said, there are so many ways to use the teleport command. Like when I jump down this hole here and instantly get teleported to the Citadel where our quests can be granted to the player. Or when you pick this seemingly innocent flower and suddenly get teleported to a giant tree village. Or when you give a little piece of your life force to this dark altar and then put lava in this cauldron. And then there's my personal teleport on the server when sometimes you just gotta go, you just gotta go. <laughs> As you can see, you can get really creative with some of these. The teleport command isn't very complicated, but it is good to know what your options are because there are so many ways that you can use it. So to use the teleport command, you need to make sure that you have commands enabled for your world. And if you wanna know how to do that, you can check out my command block basics tutorial, which I'll link right now. All right, so let's get right into it. The teleport command is pretty simple. You start by typing teleport, and then you have a couple of selectors here, which allows you to choose what you are going to teleport. So the at A allows you to teleport all players, in the entire server at E allows you to teleport all entities. That includes players, items, mobs, passive mobs, sheep, your grandma, everything. At P allows you to teleport the nearest player to where the command is being executed. In case, in this case, it would be me. At R is really fun. You could teleport a random player. That would be kind of mean, but also cool for mini games. At S is myself. So that's a nice shortcut for the next one, which is you can select an individual player. And so this can be any player on your server. If you're in a single player world, then you're, you're the only player that can be teleported here. But then we also have other shortcuts here. So these shortcuts allow you to implicitly teleport yourself to a certain coordinate. So in this case, I'm teleporting myself to exactly where I am. So I'm gonna go nowhere. But if I wanted to teleport myself, say a hundred blocks up into the air, we can do something like this and I come crashing down. You can also teleport yourself to a specific location. So it starts again with the teleport command and then you don't even have to type in if you're teleporting yourself, you don't have to type in anything. And then you can enter in the coordinates that you wanna be teleported to. And if I hit enter, we're teleported to our train station. Perfect. So now let's say we want to teleport somebody else or something else like this armor stand. I've gone ahead and named this armor stand Avid and I want to teleport Avid, the armor stand, right to me. So the way that command's gonna work is you type teleport, then you use the at E, which means any entity. So this can be items, this can be an armor stand, it can be a mob. Then in this case, you can specify the type of thing that you want to teleport, right? We're just selecting specifically what we wanna teleport. And then I named this armor stand with a name tag, Avid. So I'm gonna teleport that armor stand that's standing right in front of me with the name Avid. Now, I wanna teleport this armor stand right to me. So there are so many ways to accomplish this. In fact, I could say teleport the armor stand to the nearest player. I could say teleport to myself, teleport to Avid, or even teleport to the relative coordinates where I'm standing right now. So if I hit enter, the armor stand comes right to me. Now let's try it a different way. Let's say we wanna teleport the armor stand directly to another player on my server. Well, I can also do it that way by saying teleport that armor stand to Avid, or I can say teleport the armor stand, let's surprise somebody and do it to a random player. Well, I'm alone right now, so it's gonna go right to me. What's also really cool about teleporting entities is all entities have a unique identifier. So on Java edition, at least, if you're hovering over that entity, you can actually get the UUID automatically just by staring at it. And so now I've selected that specific armor stand, and this is actually a little bit more efficient in terms of executing that teleport. So I wanna teleport that armor stand right to me, and there it goes. So you can also change the direction that an entity or person is facing by setting the rotation parameters of the teleport command. And I use this in my spheres and circles tutorial, which I'll link somewhere up in the video above. So let's use this armor stand as an example again. And the way that we want to rotate this armor stand is a little bit more complicated, but it's not too complicated. So the first thing we can do is we can just say teleport the armor stand to uh, right to where I'm standing. But then there are additional parameters here that you can specify and you need to specify both of them. 
So the first parameter here is the direction that the armor stand is facing. So in this case, it's going to be pointed 90 degrees and we'll see what that means in a second. The next one is we're going to specify where its head is pointed. If you want its head to be pointed at the horizon, then you're going to say zero. So let's see what happens if the armor stand turns when I run this command and it should be teleported right to my feet. And look at that. The armor stand turned in that direction, right? And if we specify a different angle, we can say 180, it should point, oh, I said 190, but still, it's now going to point in that direction. You can also teleport players' heads up. So if I teleported myself to exactly where I'm standing, which the tilde command, and then we're going to, I'll, I'll point myself in some direction and I'll point my head straight up, it forces my character to look straight up and that is really jarring and we can actually do it straight down as well and now I'm looking at the floor. This is really cool if you want to start to play around with cutscenes because you can fix a player using the repeat command and have their head pointed at a certain place, stick them there and they can't move. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So this impulse command block is going to teleport the armor stand to a particular location. Then the repeat command block is going to teleport me to a certain location and then turn my head at a certain angle so that I'm pointed at the armor stand. And the reason I did this with a repeat is because a repeat command with a teleport can be used to fix a player in a certain place and that player is not allowed to move. All right, let's start this cutscene. here we go. So the armor stand is on the left, and then after a couple seconds, it moves and my head turns, I'm not touching my mouse or my keyboard, and then the armor stand moves to the right. So as you can imagine, there are so many ways that you can use this to queue up different cutscenes and have your players focus on a certain area, like maybe a mountain is crumbling and you want them to turn their head to see the action. There are so many different ways that the teleport command can be used to enhance your adventure map experience. We use them all the time on this server and I hope you guys get a great idea of how to use them too. Well, that'll just about do it for today, everyone. I wanna thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you liked this content, please hit the like button and if you wanna see more, subscribe. I would love to give more tutorials on command blocks in the future. Let me know what you wanna see next. Thanks so much, bye-bye.